Here is how to cut cost when printing your drawings to scale in architecture. We all know how expensive the likes of A2, A1 and A0 printing cost whereas the A3 and A4 printing is relatively cheap. So here is how to print your A2 sized sheet in Revit to two A3s and still maintain the same scale it was on Revit or how to print your A1 size sheet into four A3s and still maintain this exact same scale you have on your Revit. Instead of printing fit to paper or shrinking the scale, use this method I'm about to show you. If this is your first time joining our channel, welcome, my name is Grant. And in this channel, we dish out interesting architecture related content. Please do well to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, don't forget to share this video and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, welcome back. So we are going to be starting with the A2 paper before we move into the A1 paper. Now for you to be able to split A2 papers into two A3 papers and still maintain your original scale without tampering with the scale, this is what you need to do. Now for us to do that, we need to first of all change this paper size to A2 paper. Now we need to double click on this paper, this sheet then it opens the sheet tab. Now we already know the size of an A2 paper. The size of an A2 paper is 594 by 420. So we need to dimension this and make sure we have 594 by 420 because this is an A3 paper. So we are having 420 by 297, which is the exact size for an A3 paper. So we need to edit this and make this 420. Okay, then we edit the width and make it 594 okay now that we have this we now adjust this back to adjust our borderline back to the normal uh, size it was okay then we can take out our dimensions good now this is our tie our tight two so we need to adjust this tight two to the edge as well so that it will look organized so we need to adjust this okay i think this looks okay here now this is our a2 paper so we need to import this into our project now load into project we select the projects we want and we load it in, into the project override the existing version and you see automatically our sheet size becomes bigger now this sheet is an a2 sheet size so we need to adjust this make sure this fits properly in the center now you can see the the uh the now you can see the size plan is fitting in the center of the sheets. So we just need to increase the scale to make sure it balances properly in the uh, in the sheets. So let's change this to let's say 200 and let's see what we got. Okay, uh, 200. Okay, yes, I think this is good. This is good enough. So 200 works. So now for us to print this to scale in two different A3 papers so that we can print it so our printing will be cheaper and not too expensive. All we need to do is to click on Ctrl P for our print. Then it brings up this uh, print tab. So we click on Setup. Now we make understand that we are printing on A3 paper. If you want to print on A2 paper, you don't need to go through this whole hectic process. All you just need to do is to look for A2 here and you select A2. But printing on A2 is going to be expensive. So that's why I'm just giving you this option in case you want to share them. Now you select your A3 paper because that's what you want to print on to A3. Then you click on zoom. Once you click on zoom, this automatically comes down here. Then you make sure this is on portrait and not landscape because you are printing on you are printing an A2 sheet on A3 paper now, so you want to make sure it is a portrait mode because two portrait A3 papers makes one landscape uh, A2 paper. So we're going to change this to portrait. Then leave this at zero, leave this at zero, and you click on OK. You click on yes, current view. We want to print only the current view, and you click on OK. So it takes uh, you to where you select where you want the folder to be saved, and let's just call this one okay let's call this one and you click on save it automatically save this as uh, one uh, pdf now you can go there and look for one where you saved it and let's open this so you see how it looks like now you can see that this is one half of the of the sheets let's bring this down now you can see this is one half of your sheets you understand 
and it is exactly to size. So once you print the other half and you print this as an A3 paper and you bring the other half and join both of them, you automatically get an A2 paper, which is still going to maintain the exact same scale that you want. So this is one half. Now we need to print the other half. So for us to print the other half, you still do the same thing. Ctrl P for print. Come under setup. Make sure this is still in portrait A3. Okay, uh, offset from corner and zoom. Then this time around now, you are going to change the x-axis. The x-axis, you are going to change. So you are going to be changing the x-axis. Since you know that the size of the uh, A2 paper is 594. So half of 594 is 297. So you are going to be changing this to minus 297. Okay, then you click on OK. You click on OK. You click OK. And you save this as, let's say, option 2. Okay, now you save this as option two. All right, you wait for it to save. Once you are done, you go back here and you open option two, and you will see that it is the other half that you just printed. Now you, 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 you can see how it looks like now. So once you open the both of them, once you print both PDFs, once you print both, PDFs, you can see this is for, for the first half. This is for the second half. This is for the first half. This is for the second half. You can see how it looks. So this is once you print this, you automatically have an A2 uh, paper size without spending much money printing uh, A2 directly. You just have to split it into uh, two A3s and you get the same uh, scale size. So this is for A2. Now we are going to move with the A1 uh, paper size. Now, for us to do the A1 paper size, we still need to use the same sheet and we edit it to A1 size now. So now we already know that A1 size, let's dimension this again. Now the size for A1 is double of A2. Now what are we having here as A2? We're having 594 by 420. So automatically, A1 is going to give us 420 that we're having 840 here by 594 here. So let's change this to 594. Let's adjust this to 594 by 840. Okay, this is our A1 paper size. Okay, this is our A1 paper size. All right. So we delete the dimensions. We don't really need the dimensions. Then this our text, our title box. We move it to the edge as usual. Okay, I think this is good here. Now this is our A1 paper size. We load it into the project. We click on OK, and it automatically loads into the project. Now you see how big it is. Good. This is A1. Now for us to print A1 into are uh, four A3 papers now. Now, how, why do I say four A3 papers? Because if you are printing like this, just this section, this is an A2 paper. This other section is another A2 paper. But now we are going to print it like this: A3, 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 A3. So four A3 papers makes an uh, A1 paper. So we are going to increase this scale first of all. Let's make this 100 so it fits into, okay, it's too big. So let's adjust this. Let's make it uh, 150. I think that, that would work perfectly. Okay. Yeah, one, or let's say 125. I, I hope 125 fits properly. Okay. Yes, 125 fits properly. So this is what we have now, 125. So this is our size plan on an A, uh, A1 paper. Now for us to print these into four A3s now, just for you to save cost. This is the uh, combination. So you just click on Control P on your on your keyboard as usual. Then you go to Setup. Under Setup, change this to zero. We are going to be starting with zero zero. Okay. Then make sure it is on landscape. Now this one is not portrait mode now because it's landscape mode. Four A3 papers. So you want, you need to make sure this is on landscape. So you click it on landscape. Then you click on OK. OK. You click OK. You click OK. Now it saves. Uh, let's say, let's call this number three. OK. Let's call this number three. Wait for it to save. Good. Now you can open it and let's see what we have done. Now you can see 
you can see this is where our title panel our title uh block box is so this is the bottom uh, left hand corner perfect now let's get the other sides so we've gotten our bottom left now you do the same thing Control p for print then you come to this point set up make sure it's still, this is still on landscape and on the x axis now Now, on the x-axis now, let's put minus 420. Minus 420, we click on OK. We click OK. We click OK. Let's call this number 4. Okay. Wait for it to load, for, for it to save. Good. Then let's open it and let's see what we have done. Good. Now, you see that we have created the bottom right. We initially created the bottom left. Now, this is the bottom right. Okay. So, now, let's create for the top. So, for us to create the top, you also do the same thing. Control P again. Come to setup. Then, for the Y axis now, let's make this minus 297. Minus. two nine seven okay 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 all right let's make these uh five let's make this five okay all right now it has successfully saved let's open five let's see what we have created good now you can see this angle here this is the top so you can see we have created the top right corner now we need to create the top left corner do the same thing Control p print okay then we change this x-axis to zero okay cancel okay okay all right, now let's make this uh, six save. Okay, now that's successfully saved. Let's open number six and let's see what we have done. Good, now you can see this title block here. You can see this is the top uh, left hand corner. So you can see, let's, uh, let me zoom, maximize this. All right, so this is number six, top right. This is number five, top left. Sorry, top right. Number six, top left. Number five, top right. Number four, bottom right. Number three, bottom left. So if you check the full uh, site plan, you would see how this is. You can see that what we have here is exactly what we are having in all these other places without tampering with the scale now since we the scale we have here is scale 1 is to 25 once you print all these sheets size all these sheets now a3 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 and you combine them if you have your scale rule and you turn it to you turn it to 1 is to 20 or 1 is to 125 and you take measurements exactly what you are seeing in this site plan working drawing would be exactly what it would give you on your scale rule but if you have an A1 sheet or an A2 sheet and you just do Ctrl P to print uh, print it as a whole and you set, click on Setup, uh, you leave it at A3 Landscape and you click Center and or you do Fit to Page because you want it to fit to the A3, you just want the whole size plan to be on an A3 paper. It would not be to scale. If you do Fit to Page and you click on OK, uh, let's, just see, let's just see what it's going to give us. Now let's call it uh, seven. Let's call it seven. Now it's going to make the site plan, the full site plan, fit to an A3 uh, A3 paper. So it's like it is shrinking the site plan. If you use uh, the scale that you have on on the site plan, which is scale one is to one twenty five, and you turn your uh, use the scale rule to measure it, you would not get exactly what you are seeing on the site plan. Now you can see. okay good now you can see this is fits to page you can see the full uh size plan on an a3 paper 
but this would not give you the exact scale if you measure it with a scale rule so i feel if you want to do this if you just want to have a view if you are not uh, using this anywhere you just want to have a uh, a view of how the site plan is printed and you don't really care about the scale you can go for this but if you care about the scale probably you want to print them out so you can trace and you want to still maintain your scale i rather advise you use this method of printing it half 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 or better still if you have the money to print uh a2 directly or a1 directly because they are quite expensive if you have the money to do that i advise you even do that because that would be the best option for you but if you don't have the money to do that and you want to minimize cost you can go with this method so that's all for today's tutorial video if you found this video helpful or interesting, do well to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video. And lastly, share this video to your colleagues because I am very very sure that this would be a helpful uh, video for them and they would really really appreciate this. See you guys on the next video. Bye!